Okay, this video covers line charts. So we've got some data here in the performance history sheet. And the data shows us three different uh, assets. All right? The New Century Fund, the Large Growth Fund, and we're going to compare both of those to the S&P 500 and how the S&P 500 has fared over, um, over these, these 10 years here. Okay, So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to first highlight from A4 all the way down to D44. We're going to go up to Insert and then over to Line. And we're going to select the first option, the two-dimensional line. And again, move the chart to a new sheet. The new sheet will be called Line Chart. Okay, So that's basically it. Now this is valuable information. All right? This tells us that uh, if we were to put, if we would have put $10,000 into each one of these assets, uh, the New Century Fund, the Large Growth Fund, or an investment that matches the S&P 500 on July, excuse me, January 1st, 2000, this is how each one of them would have performed. Okay, so we can see the New Century. Now we won't be doing uh, much modification here, but as in previous videos, I direct your attention to the upper right-hand corner and just recognize that you have some options available. Right, you've got uh, the Layout tab once again. You've got the Format tab once again. Okay, so there's beginning to you know there's there's a pattern here. Uh, in regards to some of the options that are available to you. I, I think for the line chart, we'll probably leave it as is. I want to mess it up a little bit and show you that data labels might not be the best thing to add uh, to a line chart right? for the most part. So I'll go ahead and undo that. All right. So that's creating a line chart in Excel 2007.